In this video, I'm going to try and answer the question, are enterprise grade drives, SSD drives, worth the extra expense? And so in this case, I'm reviewing the Micron 5400 Pro in the two and a half inch SATA format. It's got 960 gigabytes capacity. And typically I'm going to compare it with the consumer grade drive that I also own, which is a Crucial MX500 in four terabyte capacity. From a price perspective, in US dollars, I can get the MX500 in the four terabyte capacity for $270 for Best Buy, and the Micron 5400 Pro I can get for $211. When you work at the capacity difference and the cost per megabyte, basically Micron costs three times per terabyte as much as the MX500, so much, much more per terabyte for the enterprise drive. Now there's Basically, three differences between enterprise grade and consumer grade SATA SSD drives. The first one being that the capacities that you can get them in are different. Typically, consumer grade drives will top out at about four terabytes, and enterprise grade drives will be nearly twice that at 7.62 or eight terabytes. That matters when you're buying uh, NAS. So, if you get a 12 bay NAS, usable capacity might be the difference between 40 and 80 terabytes. In my case, I'm interested in buying a QNAP 30 bay, two and a half inch SATA NAS. And so the difference will be between 100 terabytes of usable capacity and 200 terabytes of usable capacity. The second big difference between the two will be that consumer drives typically have an SLC cache, which when it fills up, they slow down in copies. If you go to a, a quality SSD reviewer, typically they'll do a sustained write test across the whole drive. For consumer drives, the SSO cache will fill up and the write speed will drop like a stone. In the case of the Micron, there's basically no SLC cache. It will write at 500 megabytes per second for the entirety of the drive. And the MX500 will go from 500 megabytes to when the cache fills to 400 megabytes. So not a huge amount of difference there in sustained performance. And finally, the big difference will be in drive write life. So the enterprise drives typically have a much larger drive write life. In the case of the MX500, it has a thousand terabyte drive write life. And for the Micron 5400 Pro, endurance is 2,228 terabytes. And the larger the Micron drive you buy, the larger the drive write life. In my use case, which is uh, for movie video post-production, uh, yeah, we ingest a movie, we create proxies, we edit it, and after a few months, we'll archive it to tape and delete it off and go again. The data on my NASs shows that I'm doing at most 10 drive writes per year. So based on the fact that over, say, five years, I'm doing 50 drive writes, it's not going to be a thing to worry about. The only reason I would get enterprise drives is because of data density because I do want a two rack unit size NAS with about 200 terabytes capacity. And so I can't get that in consumer drives and I can get it in enterprise drives, but is it really worth the considerable extra cost? For my case, yeah, I really don't think so. It's very hard to justify.